Now, contractors who paid NYCHA superintendents should not be afraid to come forward and speak out. As the complaints today made clear, many contractors have already been brave enough to tell law enforcement about the bribes that NYCHA employees demanded of them. Going forward, contractors should understand that NYCHA employees should not be asking for a single penny. And if they do, now you know where to report it. Now, public housing is a vital part of New York's history, present, and future. And those who betray NYCHA, the city, or the taxpayers will be held accountable. Today's charges are a product of tremendous partnership. Nearly 700 law enforcement agents participated in the arrests that took place in New York and elsewhere today. I want to thank our partners at the New York City Department of Investigation, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Homeland Security Investigations, U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, Office of Inspector General, U.S. Department of Labor, Office of Inspector General, as well as the special agents and task force officers of this office. Now, building a case and executing arrests on this scale has required tremendous resources and dedication, and these agencies have been with us every single step of the way. Well, we've discussed pay for play in the Mayor Adams administration, and we know this happens in New York. We know this happens in all various forms, whether it's politics, construction, um, you know, the, the, all this that happens here in New York City. But, you know, one thing that has been left out lately is the project buildings NYCHA. If, if you don't know what that is, that's basically, these are homes that are basically, a lot of them are Section 8. The people, these are affordable homes that we have in New York City. You know, we call them here the projects. You know, a lot of places say the same also. But the thing about it is, and, you know, for quite some time as I'm growing up, we, you know, we've always heard the rumor that, you know, there might have been some bribery going on in these projects but we didn't know how severe it was until today 70 current and ex nitro workers have been arrested uh in a decade long two million classic pay for pay bribery and extortion bust uh this just happened recently uh this is an article from the new york post uh 70 current and former nitro workers were charged tuesday in a 10-year two million uh, classic pay-for-play corruption scheme involving the largest number of federal bribery raps brought in a single day in the Department of Justice history. Some of the total kickbacks to the rogue workers hit more than $300,000 and several of the heftiest charges were slapped against a 47-year-old female employee accused of helping an unnamed co-conspirator extort contractors in exchange for work with the agency, the court uh, documents claim. Babe, could you put a company through for someone? All you need to do is sign the documents as the approved and could get anyone to sign as a requester. The co-conspirator message Angela Williams on February 3rd, 2022, according to the papers. That has been my side hustle, LOL, 1K per. The unidentified person added to Williams, who allegedly wiped her phone through the factory reset in January 2023, thwarting the Fed's attempt to retrieve all of her texts. Mm, it might be still in the cloud. If she had cloud thing, it might be still up there. Another suspect who was busted along with his wife and third NYCHA cohort working in tandem with them 
uh, even grew unsatisfied with the bribes he was receiving in cash tucked in envelopes and demanded doubles, authorities said. Joseph Fuller, an assistant supervisor at the Seth Lowe Houses in Brooklyn, told the, a contractor in 2021 that the standard 10% kickback of the contract value would no longer suffice and that he would be raising the rates up to 20%, telling them him. There were other contractors willing to pay that higher amount, court papers say. The contractor refused and he did not get any more work at the property. The avalanche of bribery and extortion crime occurred in about a third of the 335 developed in the New York Housing Authority, the country's biggest public housing agencies. When the suspects demanded cash in exchange for lucrative construction, maintenance, and no-bid contracts, officials said. The defendants of all whom were working for NYCHA at the time sought between 10 and 20% of the contract values or kickbacks between $500 and $2,000, though some asked for higher amounts, authorities said. In total, the dozens of rogue workers received more than $2 million in bribes, involving $13 million in contracts between 2013 and 2023, officials said. Williams, a housing manager who owned 70978 70, from NYCHA in 2023, netted 15000 in bribes, according to the document's online records. But some defendants pocketed much more, authority says. Suspect Juan Mercado, a resident building super, solicited and accepted a total of at least approximately 314300 in bribes in exchange for arranging for certain contractors to receive no-bid contracts from NYCHA worth a total of at least $1,761,000, the Fed said. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Mercado's salary was 99478 last year. A judge set his bond at $100,000 and his longtime partner who was in the courtroom posted the amount freeing the suspect. As part of the bond agreement, Mercado was ordered to surrender a cache of 37 handguns, 13 rifles, and his firearms license. He's also restricted to travel only within the eastern and southern districts of New York. Now, I, want, I only wanted to give you a little taste of that. I would recommend going over to grab this article, check out the whole thing because there's a lot more in this article and a lot more. You know, we said seven, there's 70 defendants on here. Now, the thing about it is, if you're not familiar with the housing authority here in New York, it's always grappled with budgets. You know, there's always been problems with a lot of this housing, whether it's heat, water, um, uh, infestation from rats and bugs, you know, situations on that, drug problems, uh, crime. And you see one point of the problem that a lot of this could have been resolved by taking out a lot of these superintendents because basically a lot of the work that was being done was it was the work being done properly that's the thing and the thing about it is why were the superintendents involved to the situation these were companies that were hired by the city of new york to do the work and why were they be, why were they why were they being bribed that they couldn't come into these contracts who else did they know that basically that these supers had the power to stop these guys from getting these contracts? That has to be further investigated. So tell me in the comments below what your thoughts about this, because this is a situation. And I'll tell you this, the Mayor Adams situation hasn't ended either. Another person has come forward and pleaded guilty by... Um, by saying that he's funneled the money into the Adams uh, campaign, uh, you know, in that situation as well. Um, that is still ongoing on that. We probably won't hear much more at the moment because there's a lot more going on. As you see, Mayor Adams is trying to be everywhere at once. You know, every time there's a police raid, he's there out there with his, fash his fashion scarves. <laughs> you know, if you haven't seen this picture yet. Oh, Jesus. You know, this is this is the stupidity that we have here in New York City. 
And let me tell you something, the NYCHA situation is not a surprise at all. How long has this been going? This is not a, you know, this is only 10 years. It's probably a lot, a lot longer than that, that this has been going on. So comment, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, share this video, and hopefully today's the day I've earned your subscription. We're well over 1,000. Thank you again. Uh, don't forget to check out all of our other videos here on Man Man With The Show on q to cast TV. Until next time, thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now. Thanks for watching, commenting, and sharing this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe as this helps the reach of this channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help support this channel as new internet laws around the world will diminish our reach and affect our sponsors. If you choose to help, there are two ways listed in the description below. The first link will lead you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will lead you to our gear shop where you can buy shirts, mugs, and other gear. Discounts will be listed on the site. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.